Dennis Weaver here for the District 8 preview for week number five of the Tennessee high school football season. We reach the halfway point of the regular season in Columbia and Franklin County. We'll enjoy a much-needed bye week as the remaining four teams will take on non-district foes. Lincoln County travels up Highway 231 to take on Oakland in Murfreesboro. With the call will be Donnie Honey of Fayetteville's WYTM. The Lincoln County Falcons are back on the road Friday night as they travel to Murfreesboro to take on the 3-2 Oakland Patriots. The Patriots come into the game riding a two-game winning streak after defeating Crosstown on district rival Blackman last week, while the Falcons are still looking for their second win of the season. Starting quarterback Matt Bettingfield is still not expected to play, so sophomore Keller Monks will get the start. The Falcons must find a way to slow down the speed of the Patriots and once again, cut down or eliminate the mistakes and turnovers that have plagued the Falcons all season to have a chance at victory. Game time is 7 o'clock at Patriot Field for WYTM FM 1055. This is Donnie Honey reporting. Telehome will be on the road to Chattanooga as they tangle with the Tigers of Tyner. With a preview, here's Scott Shastine of WHMT. For the first time this season, the Tullahoma Wildcats stepped outside of the friendly confines of Wilkins Stadium for a football game. They brought home a 14-10 district win over Lincoln County to even their district record and raise their overall mark to 3-2. This week brings another road trip, this time down I-24 to Chattanooga where the Cats will face Tyner Academy. The Rams are 3-1 and one overall and tied for first in District 6 AA and are coming off a shutout of East Ridge 34 to nothing. Despite the difference in classification, Tyner's speed and big playability will be a huge test for the Wildcats. Telahoma visits Tyner tonight. For the Telahoma Sports Network, I'm Scott Shastine. Lawrence County's at home hosting Stratford and Stanley Wilson has the report from WDXE of Lawrenceburg. It's homecoming in Lawrenceburg tonight, and Lawrence County hopes that its offense will match the pageantry of all the parades and floats. The Wildcat offense will be looking to have a full game of production as the Cats have scored all of its points in the first half of their last two games. The Stratford Spartans will present a challenge as the Wildcats will try to contain their speedy backs. This should be a competitive game between these one and four teams. I'm Stanley Wilson reporting for WDXC Sports. And finally, Shelbyville will host Laverne and Horse Country on Bedford County's number one station, WLIJ, with Rusty Reed on the call. The Shelbyville Central High School Golden Eagles come off a huge disappointing loss at the hands of the Columbia Lions last Friday night. This Friday night is homecoming for the Golden Eagles as they welcome in the Wolverines of Laverne. Shelbyville dropping two uh, games in a row after winning their first two, now sit two and two on the season. This Friday night presents a difficult challenge for the Golden Eagles as they have the distractions of homecoming to deal with. This Friday night, Shelbyville and Laverne, the Wolverines and the Golden Eagles getting set to do battle at Eagle Stadium. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock. Reporting for WLIJ AM 1580 and the District 8 AAA Preview, I'm Rusty Reed with Jack's Radio. That does it for the District 8 Roundup. I'm Dennis Weaver of Friday Night Thunder. Check out our website at FridayNightThunder.com. There you'll find links to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook pages, along with a link to our live scoreboard. And if you want to listen, there's a link to hear us streaming via your computer or a list of all 11 of our over-the-air broadcast partners. This has been Dennis Weaver of Friday Night Thunder.